one. Over the years, all the action films we've made and all the airsoft games we've played, we've amassed quite a collection of airsoft guns. We have hundreds of guns, and here are some of the ones that I think have the best stories, some of the most unique features, and are probably some of the coolest airsoft guns that are out there. Classic UMP, Counter-Strike, Battlegrounds, one of my favorite designed SMGs. The MP7, near and dear to my heart. The reason it's so near and dear to my heart. A grenade launcher, which is just basically a giant shotgun when it comes to airsoft. You have the grenades, you load up a bunch of pellets, and it's just like a large rotary barrel. It's like a revolver for shotgun shells. Here we have an M16 with an underslung grenade launcher. Kind of the same deal. You have a normal functioning rifle, and underneath you basically have a giant shotgun. This gun is a special movie gun. This is light machine gun variant of a G36. Now this gun was used in VGHS. Over here we have an M14. This guy was used in Tether. Still shoots like a champion. Now the Vector in real life is a gun that's designed to have very little recoil because there's a set of weights here that go downwards when you shoot that minimize your upwards travel. And the airsoft gun has the same thing. It's gas powered. And they actually have a mechanism there that slides down and there's not a lot of kick, but you can feel how it moves and it's a pretty authentic replica of the real thing. Now when a company makes an airsoft gun, they have to license the gun design from the actual company. So for a while, the company that makes this gun didn't actually let people use the license. So a couple of these guns were made and then they were immediately cut off and they couldn't make any more. So to find these guns and these mags was a very, very tricky endeavor. And we got two of them. And we used them for our division short. You can, see, uh, you can see it in the video on our channel as well as the video on Ubisoft's channel. The one that everybody plays with, which constantly bugs me because I say break airsoft guns, is this shotgun right here. Now, you can find these at Evite. These are special shotguns that actually have real loading shells that you load into the shotgun. And you fire it and then rack it. No! Damn! You're dead! Tactical reload. <laughs> This is probably the most gratifying airsoft gun to use on film. They eject like a real shotgun. It's super cool and it saves you a ton of time doing VFX. Now this guy has seen a lot of use over the past year. This is kind of our basic sniper rifle. We've been using it a ton on Node episodes and it has since been modified with a little pipe holder for an easy sling access point. This guy is what Gavin used in the Fallout 4 slow motion video. So this is an L87 right here. It's a really junky gun, but for a while my dreams were that this would become a nice airsoft gun because generally speaking, the longer your barrel length inside your airsoft gun, the more accurate your shots. This bullpup design with having the mag back here and the grip right here meant that you could have a compact gun with a really long barrel. Now the AR platform, the just M4s, M16s, and general variants thereof are really nice for airsoft guns because you can work with a lot of the parts to interchange them. So if something breaks or you want to add on, almost any AR platform is interchangeable. Uh, it was put together for the Division. It has this lighter gray look, which just makes it pop a little bit more to the eye. And it's been tacked out with a laser pointer, a sight, foregrip, a little guard to make sure the BBs don't break your glass, all that good stuff. Now in, in Rush, the Battlefield series that we did, there's four characters that each represent one of the classes from the game. Recon, Assault, Support, and Engineer. This was going to be a potential other option for our Recon character. Now Evike put this together for us. They did all the custom paint work, made it look really cool, and it never got used in the movie. <laughs> the reason is, we use this guy instead. So this is what our character, our recon character, actually used. He was styled after a marine forcon specialist. It's got a suppressor, cool sights. Now the tricky thing was, we had a bunch of blank firing guns on Rush, and we needed to get the airsoft equivalents and make sure they looked exactly the same. Which is why we didn't use this guy, because we didn't have a real version of that. This bad boy right here, bad girl maybe, is probably more accurate because this gun was used as the non-firing double for our Avery sniper character. And it used to have a handmade wooden flash suppressor on the front. With real guns, you can just hold them up and aim. With the Barrett 50 cal, it's like <laughs> Richard Ryan let me shoot his Barrett once. It's pretty cool. They're really smooth. They don't kick that much. That's really? kind of surprising. Yeah. M249, I think this is the paratrooper variation of it because it has the extendable stock. And then once again, this is one of the things we had to deal with when shooting Rush was that this is what we had for a blank firing gun, so we needed to get the airsoft gun that had the exact same stock design. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool stock design, huh? We have all these crazy guns. They all do really cool things. They're all very unique in their own way. But with all these hundreds of airsoft guns, I've only picked out a certain selection 
that I actually use myself for real airsoft games. The ones I think are probably the best airsoft guns. You can go in, you can trick out your guns, make them really nice. And by that point, it's a pure custom machine. It doesn't matter where you're coming from. But these are the guys that have kept me up and running for all the games I've played. The GNG 418. Oh! Reliable. Oh! Nice and light, easy to carry, doesn't break. It's got a MOSFET inside, which makes the trigger response much quicker. A little guard here that has been broken once already. The sight's about 80 bucks. This is probably my favorite rifle. This is the one I've been using forever. The nice thing about this is the battery stored in the stock. The stock still folds up though, even though the batteries are stored in it. So you can make it really compact for close range fighting. Put this out for long range fighting. Stock will then extend from there. Yeah. Nice little riser and red dot here, so it gets above the iron sights. Got my foregrip that turns into a bipod. Oh, it's a little dusty right now. If I'm doing a close quarters fight, this is my go-to AEG. This is a Knight's Armament PDW made by Lancer Tactical. Now this gun is super reliable and it kicks hard. I mean, the BBs come out fast, straight, and they just have all that kinetic energy. <laughs> and honestly, when it comes to airsoft guns, Reliability is the biggest thing for me. You're running around, you're going to fields. I just, I don't like tinkering with guns for hours at a time. Dirt and dust, I play outdoors a bunch. You know, you're running around, the guns are bumping into things, getting banged up. So I just want them to be quick access, I want them to work, and I want them to shoot straight. Now pistols, pistol airsoft games are where it's at. Makes the fights up close, personal, and tactical, and there's a lot more you can do with just having good aim and good decisions. I've gone through a lot of airsoft pistols. They break all the time, except for this one. And maybe I just got lucky, or maybe it's a damn good gun, who knows. <laughs> but this is a WE-1911, real classic, real basic. Gets the job done. It's never failed me, I've had it for about four years. That's not good! <laughs> Megs are only single stack, so you don't get a ton of rounds per pistol. In this mag, your BBs just form a single line. I'm okay with that. I like this guy. This is won me many trouble in Terrace Town games. We've gone through a lot of the airsoft guns that we have. We've gone through my favorites for the games. At some point, we should probably have Sam do his favorites. If you guys have some favorite airsoft guns, I'd love to hear what they are below, especially pistols. So if you have any recommendations, something that's super reliable, shoot straight, and like you just you never have to pop it open, let me know. If you guys are looking for airsoft guns, go check out Evike. Full disclosure, they've sponsored us for years, but we're still with them for a reason. They really help us out with good gear. And they don't make airsoft guns necessarily. They're a retailer, they sell a bunch, but they have a website that has a ton of videos. They try to make in-depth documentation on everything they have there. You can watch a bunch of stuff. They're like the new egg of airsoft. If you're looking at airsoft guns, check them out.